So this is question four, paper one, 2011 higher maths paper. And the question says we're drawing a tangent to this curve and the equation of the curve is given, y equals x cubed minus 2x. We're drawing a tangent at the point 2, 4 and it asks us to work out the gradient of this tangent. So we're basically to find the gradient on this curve at this point 2, 4. Now there's a basic fact you should know that if you have the graph formula, which is what that is, and you differentiate then you end up with the gradient formula. So basic fact, if, if you have the graph formula, which is what this is, y equals x cubed minus 2x is the formula for the graph, if you now differentiate, you'll produce a formula that gives you the gradient. So let's try that. Here's y equals x cubed minus 2x, the formula for the graph. Differentiating dy by dx, a power of x, we put the power at the front, and we reduce the power by 1. So that gives us a 3x squared. If we differentiate a number times x, we just write down the number. So that'll give us a minus 2. So we start off with the graph formula. We've produced the gradient formula. The next question is, where are we on this graph? We're at the point 2, 4. This formula for the gradient just involves x. We just need the value for x at this point. x equals 2. That's where we are on this graph. So if we put x equals 2 in here, we'll get the gradient at that point. If we put in different values of x, we'll get different values for the gradient. Curves change their gradient as x changes. Depends where you are on the curve what the gradient is. So the next stage is to say... When x equals 2, dy by dx, that's the gradient, is, and we substitute 2 for x. So it's 3 times 2 squared minus 2. That gives us 3 lots of 4 minus 2. That's 12 minus 2, which gives us 10. So the gradient at the point where x equals 2, that's at the point 2, 4, the gradient on this curve is 10. Now let's look at the uh, choices we have and there's the correct choice. So it's choice D.